So, here's what I need, and I'm very concerned because it already seems like a challenge. I need you guys to go to work independently the whole time. So, here, well, not not alone, I mean, without me oh, telling you what to do. Is, that's a little so, by, by independent, I mean without guidance. Here's what we're doing. We're collecting data. And we're going to use this data as we move forward through this chapter. So, the data that we are collecting, really what's going on in the book doesn't matter that much because I just need your attention. The data that we're collecting, measurement data, and we are going to use that to reinforce some things that we probably already know, but also to make some graphs. So the fact that a measurement might be slightly off is fine because we just need different data points. We are going to be working only in inches. Now, metric is better, but we have more American measuring tools in, like at our disposal. It's hard to find metric measuring tools. Like, they're just not as common. Most measuring tapes are in inches and feet. So we're only working in inches because mixing inches and feet gets more complicated. So we're working in only inches. It better be on top of it. So is it... Need is it a necessary question for our lesson right now? Then stop. So, you and your partner, not group, partner. Two people, not one, not three, two people. It's set up there. I need you in pairs, please. So, when we break, we will be getting into pairs. No ifs, ands, or buts. Unless we have an odd amount of people, and then there can be one group of three at the end. So, your goal will be to measure from this wall, cinder block, or cove, if you want to know what this plastic trim stuff at the bottom is, it's called cove, all the way across to this wall. So, your task is... To do one measurement with this as your tool. Another measurement with something maybe like this as your tool or this. Now, I know it's fun, but we can't do a bunch of this. So, don't. If you really need your time to do that, come to math lunch or something, but now is not the time to do it. I'll, it's fun. I get it, but we're, that's not what we're doing. So I'll quickly take it away and hand you a, a wooden one if you're screwing around. And then, and guys, we have to share all of these, and this is why we're working in pairs. Then a measurement using tape. So up here, I'm a liar, up here is where your data is going to go. Sorry, it's crooked. Oh, your group, who you are, like the two of you, Wait, sure, but I need to know who, like, your names have to be there too. Oh. But if you want to be like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I don't care. <laughs> Ruler measurement in only inches. Tape measurement in only inches. And then, because I wasn't sure if you'd have a yardstick or what else, I put other, so write in what else you used and that measurement. Now there are other measuring tools, if you, if you choose to find them. There are other measuring tools in this room, that's why I put other questions quickly. That, now, if you're screwing around and you're not working, I'm just going to send you in the other room to sit. I don't have to have every person involved in data collection. This is a fun lesson. I, there is a table of data I can just throw at you guys and we can just do the stuff with the data. But I figured it'd be a whole lot more fun to collect the data on our own if we can stay focused and be responsible. Okay, since that wall is like... Not taking that question. That's a rude. Could we like kind of measure how long our notebooks are and then, and then like know that and then use it? Moving on. Moving on. I already essentially answered that question. What do we need to measure? Doesn't matter. Now, here's what I will say. If you get a tape measure first, you cannot let that bias your other measurements. So honestly, with how fast this will be, I'd save this for last. I would do all your other measuring techniques first, 
save your tape editor for last because it's going to be the easiest and the fastest. Okay, I'll keep you in tune with time, but the main goal of today is collect data. This may turn into a two-day lesson. That's especially why your homework tonight's pick six. If this turns into a two-day lesson, tomorrow's homework will be the rest of the workbook, the problems you didn't do. So if you want to make your life easy, just do the first six tonight, and then assume you'll have like four or five left over tomorrow, and you have five left over. Well, so, these are, they're on the boxes, like, lines that are, like, boxes. Like, you know how those boxes, there's lines? Cinder blocks? This, yeah, this is a cinder block. Yeah, yes. so, you know how those lines are in the yes. cinder blocks? Yes. Can we start there? Can we start, start there? Oh, that could be your other, I mean, I, there are other ways to measure. Oh, we measure the first thing. Naya, I'm coming. Naya. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to. Yeah. So, like, uh, we're moving on. We literally had a thing about what was in here. He wasn't here yet. Okay. Other relevant <laughs> questions. Do we measure like, like, people? Do we measure like both or do we measure the other person? Do we need to know exactly how we find Yes, yes. yes. I'm still going to refuse to answer. I will caution you. Don't let these snap back in. Like, no. It will go up inside of it. Because these are cheap measuring tapes. Do not let them snap back in. If you break this, I'm handing you a paper clip and telling you you have to figure it out. Because I'm No, it's not. And you get to do it at lunch. I thought you meant So any other questions? <laughs> Everybody needs out something to collect your data on. So I want to keep drawing on your book and join us with what we're doing. You don't even need your book today. You need something to put your data on and a partner. How about it? Oh my god. We need a partner. Raise your hands. We have to be sitting in threes. Anyone else need a partner? Anyone else need a partner? Zach, you need a partner? Boo, you're with Sky.
seconds to finish measuring. coding the whole thing, just make sure you know what you have and what you're still missing. Because I'm going to scroll this in a second. 
All right, no one needs to be talking because all we're doing is copying data, and it's very easy to miss data. I would make your first goal to copy down those 12 data points. Now you do not have to collect them in the same table that we just had, but I did that because I was copying directly from the table. The chart paper is going to stay there. So if you miss stuff right now or later, you realize, oh crap, I don't have enough data points. I'm missing stuff. We're going to use this all tomorrow. So you need to have these data points down. Error. 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 Not error, but error. We made a clip. Error. Everybody should have line one copied. Everybody should have line two. We should not be talking. We've got to get all of us copied down before we run out of time. It's just, I just changed, uh, just to give you a marking point, if you want, like stop there and then I'm going to move the screen. Just to give you a reference point across. So there are 12 data points above the red line. If you work down to the red line, you should have 12 data points on your paper, or on your paper, something. So however you have it organized, on your paper. Can I scroll down to the red line? Yes. No, 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 no. Are we good? Everyone has everything down to the red line? Yeah. Ian, you're good? Your pencil's still moving, so that's why I asked. <laughs> then, there are 15 data points below the red line, or a total of 27 data points. 12 above, 15 below. We Some people were missing some, or really, I mean, if there were nine times three, like three different data points from nine different groups, plus 27. It might be helpful for some of you guys. So, we were rock climbing this weekend out in Lake Park in Kishaka, and it's like natural rocks. And uh, it's mainly sandstone in Ohio. It's just like compacted dirt essentially turned into sandstone. And I was about, I was kind of 15 feet up, and talking to my buddy, and it's one of the first times we've made it, well, it is the first time we've made it out this year. So, you know, nature has changed, winter happened. I was like, you know, as we climb and break things, that's really a good and right as I was saying, that's a good thing, just a giant piece of rock just breaks off. Do we Do we all have twenty seven data points? Now, here's the biggest challenge. I'm not even joking. Here's the hardest challenge, and I urge you to leave yourself a bit of extra space. Right, Meg? What are you agreeing to? Uh, to what you just said. Which was? Uh, yeah, there it is. You were just like, I don't know, you're painting your paper or something. I don't know quite what's going on over there. You need to put these data points in order. You need to put these, da yeah, with the smallest to greatest is really how we do it. You need to put these data points in order. So you have all of these listed out. Now, 
You can see all of yours at the same time. I can't see all of mine at the same time because how big I wrote it. If you guys want to work together, now we can't like all talk at the same time, we can't argue with each other, but if we work together, we can make this easy. What's the lowest data point we have? 285.5. Doesn't matter where it is, the lowest. 285.5. 285.5. So then, kind of make a mark. We have used that data point, right? So like, kind of, you got to write these down. Everyone's gonna need these listed out in order in your notes. Nine. Is there a 281 on there? I don't know. No, I think you erased that. And somebody, a couple of groups changed their measurements. Sorry, a couple of groups came up here and like literally changed their measurement on the sheet. So. I don't know that we have two any more anymore. I don't think we did. So it's all and a couple like there was a two seventy two up here that I did not use because it was a group's fourth measurement. So because I didn't want the math to get weird. Somebody wrote two seventy two up here. It was Alex and May's fourth measurement. No, we took three, but that one we took three, but someone put it in our list. So. Okay. Well, what the table we have up here is just going to be the table we work with. Sorry, what stuff got a little goofy here. So let's just go 285.5 for our first one. What would be next? Um, 328. 328. 328. Yeah, there's three low. 316. We all gotta agree. Check each other. 316.5. Then three thirty point what? Point five. Wait, I hear some people saying just three thirty. No, just three thirty. No, three thirty for what? There's three hundred thirty. So three thirty. There is a three thirty. There is a three thirty. So here's what's up. I would encourage you try to go five on a line or four or something like leave space. So if I need to erase and shift over, you could bump these over. We are out of time. So if somebody wants to be the hero and you have time during AO or extensions, put our data in order. Work together with a partner, probably I would say to check like that you don't miss any numbers. You would be saving us a lot of time as a class. Okay. But I'm not going to do it because I have too much to do. So have a great day. Please work on your homework. Hey, yo, if you want, tomorrow's assignment will be the rest of what you don't choose from today's. Just do the first few problems and do as much as you can. Tomorrow will be the rest of it. So, have a great day, guys. Is there anything you would choose? That's a really weird question. Well, I mean, just Mr. Higgins I would, said he would choose. I would love to give up a lot of things right now.